Luke Fickle's first season as a Badger ends in Tampa. Wisconsin takes on LSU in the ReliaQuest Bowl, and we've got you covered on our Badgers Bowl special. Plus a flashback from Flash Gordon. We'll hear from an explosive Wisconsin legend reflecting on the last time they played in Tampa. Thrilled for our players and for our fans. These players have been through so much. I'm just so pleased and proud of them. I am sports director Carly Murata live here in Ybor City as we break down this year's matchup and look back at Luke Fickle's first season. Hello and welcome to our Badgers Bowl special. I am Luke Gamble. And I'm Pablo Iglesias. Luke, we want to bring in our third member of the team as well. We have to talk about this. So you and I had to drive through the snow today. <laughs> Meanwhile, sports director Carly Murata, she is in better conditions and joins us live from the Sunshine State. Hey, Carly. Hey guys, yeah, I'm here in Ebor City for the New Year's Eve Parade and Pep Rally. It's been a jam-packed week for the Badgers. From Bush Gardens to a beach day, and now it is finally almost game day. So let's talk about that game and head coach Luke Fickle. He will coach in his sixth bowl game, but second with Wisconsin. Fickle coached the Badgers to victory in the guaranteed rate bowl last season, just a few weeks after being hired as the Badgers head coach. This week, the attitude is different as Fickle has had to put more of an emphasis on game prep, but it's still a glimpse at what this program can be. Last year it was, you know, a much different perspective and what it is I was trying to do and learn in the process and now it's so much different in how you are going to progress your program and looking at a, this is not just an opportunity to play an obviously incredible game and an incredible opponent, but also at where you're headed and the things that you're doing in months this time because as coach will tell you, that the evolution of what we're doing, this isn't just about playing in a bowl game. There's so many other things going on within your program. And as we know, quarterback Tanner Mordecai, his time with Wisconsin is about to come to an end, but he's already helping the future of this program. Tyler Van Dyke, a quarterback from Miami, he announced his decision to transfer to Wisconsin. And Van Dyke is in a similar situation that Mordecai was in last season, going into his final year of eligibility and moving it on to a new program. The two guys spent time together at the Manning Passing Academy before Mordecai transferred to Wisconsin and quickly developed a relationship. Mordecai saying his advice was simple. Being a Badger is a special privilege. Just soak it all in. I mean, uh, really embrace the, the culture of this place. That's what I told him was so special about Wisconsin is like the number of really high character guys in that locker room and guys who really care for each other. You know, the at family atmosphere is actually, it's, it's real here. Um, everyone preaches that, but um, it's, it's a living thing. I mean, after football games, all the families of the entire team are all tailgating together. That doesn't happen anywhere else. I can almost bet anything on it. So, I mean, I think that's, that's just really special. And this parade is just about to begin. There's plenty of Badger fans, plenty of Tiger fans out here too. Now, the last time that the Badgers played in Tampa for a bowl game, that was the Outback Bowl in 2015. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio for more on that. All right, thanks, Carly. Luke, yeah, ranging back to 2015, Wisconsin has played in nine bowl games and the record eight and one. Pretty impressive. And the last time the Badgers were in the Bay, they left a moment that rises above the rest. Yeah, that's right. Ahead of the Badgers trip to Tampa, I took a trip down memory lane with one of UW's biggest stars to reflect on the last time Wisconsin played there. All right, well, the Badgers are headed back to Tampa. And the last time they were there, this guy was on the team, Melvin Gordon. And uh, Melvin, just tell me, what do you remember about that Outback Bowl 34-31 overtime win over Auburn? What's the most memorable thing that stands out about that day and that game? Uh, well, I mean, one dope thing about it was we uh, got to get Bar uh, Barry Alvarez out of retirement for the second time. So uh, that was cool, having a legendary coach um, be able to coach you. Um, but it was just dope too because it was. I knew it'd be my last game with the with the class that I came in with, and I was just like, you know what? At the end of the day, whether we go to the national championship or not, I want my last game as a Badger to be uh, a victory, and uh, we got that done. I was I was crying and stuff. It was an emotional game for me. <laughs> Three touchdowns, over 250 yards rushing. What do you remember about the game plan going into that game, and obviously it working. Um, well, it was it was just kind of crazy everything leading up because I got really 
uh, sick that week. And uh, a lot of people were claiming that uh, pretty much I, it was just kind of an excuse for me to not play. And, I mean, all the guys knew that I wanted to play that last game, but I just was really sick. But obviously, you know, the, the game plan was just to run the ball. That's what we were doing the whole game and mixing in there with some pass. You know how Barry do it. We got a video of you hugging him right yeah. after the game and saying, we did it, man. What, what did it mean just to be a part of that special occasion? It meant everything to me. He'll, he'll always have a special place in my heart no matter what because, you know, not like I said, not once but twice he did that. You know, he came out of retirement and, and – uh, you know, we didn't have anybody. You know, our head coaches kind of left us in a bowl game, and we kind of were just left with nothing. And, you know, for him to come out of retirement and, and, and do that, man, that, that meant a lot. Not only to me, though. It meant a lot to, to you know, the guys on the field and just the Badger Nation just in general, you know. Man, that, that just meant the world to me. He's that forever the, forever the man in the Donna Madison to me. Well, what's your, what's your confidence going forward with what Luke Fickle has done, kind of the foundation he's laid this year? They, they brought him in there for a reason. Bringing him in there, he has to be the right guy. And he probably had to change a lot of things. And, you know, I think a, a coach needs more than one year. I, I, I'm a fan now, too, you know. Man, we're so used to seeing us being good, us coming up, you know, us being the underdogs and getting into big games and making it a game. You know, we just been getting blew out, and we've been losing the teams we shouldn't be losing to. And I think that's what's killing the fans, and that's what's killing me because I'm a fan too. You know, we have to be in every game. That's just what we do. But I got trust that he'll turn around. I hope he turns around. We cannot fall into the dumps, and it might be a lot on him, but getting paid big bucks for a reason. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure that he'll, he'll turn it around. He got to. We have to have a trust in him. All right, well, that's pretty good words coming from a, a great Badger turn to a big fan now, Melvin. We appreciate you joining us, man. Oh, man. Thanks for having me. It's always a blast. And almost awesome. Melvin still making us proud. He scored a tutty today, Luke, for the Ravens. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're going to look at the Badgers' opponent at LSU and break down their season. That's next on our Badgers Bowl special.